Hello, I'm Alastair Ross at BBC Sport and Liverpool have beaten Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium to win through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Liverpool led 3-0 from the first leg but conceded within two minutes through Gabriel Jesus. They did weather the storm and ended up completing a 5-1 aggregate win with strikes from Mo Salah and Roberto Firmino in the second half as City chased the game. Former Liverpool fullback Stephen Warnock was part of the BBC's commentary team. Terrible, terrible start for Liverpool but show character in the second half Klopp had to have got into them at half time really got round them to tell them that it wasn't acceptable, it wasn't good enough and the performance in the second half was very good but on the other side of it, Man City looked jaded, they looked tired in the second half and uh, Liverpool deserved the win. Well the former England winger Chris Waddle doesn't think Liverpool are too far off from being title contenders next year. He's hit the jackpot with some of his signings haven't you? Salah's been an unbelievable signing for him with goals return so yeah he's getting the best out of his players he does need another three or four for the squad you've got to say, you look at bench tonight I know Jordan Henderson's not there but if he can get another three or four in in the summer, then they've got a fair chance of saying we can go for the league as well next year. Elsewhere, Arsenal have won their appeal against Egypt midfielder Mohamed Elneny's red card in Sunday's 3-2 Premier League win over Southampton. Elneny was dismissed in stoppage time following a confrontation with Saints defender Cedric Suarez. And Newcastle United have been fined over $10,000 after admitting breaching rules over their under-18 side, wearing kits bearing the logo of a betting company. The Magpies are sponsored by China-based online gaming firm Fun88. FA rules say services and related activities such as alcohol and gambling cannot be worn by under-18 sides. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com football.